This is the sound of the Yamaha XJR1300. The Cafe Racer version was produced two years only. No, it has nothing to do with a low sales number. This Yamaha's life started in 1999, which means it had a very long life of 17 years on the market. And if it wasn't for the Euro 4 emission laws, it would probably still be available today. The good news is, the older model can be an excellent Dolo motorcycle for a custom project. And that is precisely what you are going to see today. Welcome to Racer TV. What a beautiful cafe racer, isn't it? Even if you're not a fan of four-cylinder motorcycles, this is the kind of project we like right at first sight. The organic lines, the shape of this seat, the wide wheels, everything just looks perfect. I love this strong presence. It is definitely an excellent candidate for the Muscle Cafe Racer category. This impressive project was built in Poland by Gjagos Kortak and his team from Unicat Motorworks. Yes, it seems to be a big team compared with most custom builders. But that also explains why they've created so many amazing bikes over the years especially this very elegant Honda that I showed five years ago and which curiously has a completely opposite approach from today's project. One of the main problems with the XJR 1300 is the size and obviously the weight. This means in what concerns to the aesthetics it is not an easy machine to work with and this is precisely what I love the most on this project. Everything looks like it is on the perfect spot. All the proportions are extremely well integrated. Nothing looks too big or too small. Especially the seat. If you look from certain angles, the seat's shape seems to be a continuation of the fuel tank. Notice how the fuel tank's lines flow through the seat. We can easily see that Jagosh Kortak and the Unicat team spared no effort to make this cafe racer look really stunning. But this can also be explained by Tomex High Expectations, who is the owner that commissioned the project. He is an experienced rider having also some background in customizing. He had a lot of ideas for the project, and wanted all the parts to be top shelf, and no compromise in the design. This means the whole project, was going to be a good challenge. It took some time to get these lines, but without any doubt, it was worth it because it looks much better than most projects based on this Yamaha. And why does that happen? It took me a while to figure it out. Yes, there is one modification that makes this project stand out from the others. The main secret is on this frame section. Although it looks slightly different from the initial one, there is a good reason why the Unicats team has done it this way. And the best way to explain it to you, is seeing how this project would look like, but without touching the frame's metal section. I recognize this version, does not look bad at all. But it also reminds me about many other projects, based on the XJR model. In other words, with the original frame, it becomes visually heavier, 
clearly showing its long wheel base. But by making a new central section of the frame, Unicat managed to change the overall stance completely. Notice how the rear section looks much lighter. Not to mention that everything became cleaner and minimalist. Jagosh Gortak was really very clever on making this new rear section. As you may already noticed, the project is based on a 1999 version. And this is a very smart choice. Because until 2005, the engines were carburetted, which means there are no electronic components of the fuel injection to hide. And up to 2001, the fuel tanks were slightly more elegant. Besides that, most fans of this Yamaha model recognize that carburetor engine versions are still the best. The modification list of this amazing Yamaha is quite extensive. But I show it to give you an idea. Although the front suspension came from a Yamaha R1, there is a very interesting little detail here. Note, there is virtually no superficial gap between the forks and the triple trees. Cleverly, they made these tubes to add some volume to the forks, creating a simple and minimalist appearance on this section. And what to say about these Kimio wheels? Let's just say that good things take time to be made. Fortunately for the Unicat team, the owner of this Yamaha understands this and didn't mind waiting six months for these spoked wheels. Right from the start, Jagosh Kortak knew this Yamaha had to handle like a dream. And why? Because the owner has a Kawasaki HP2 on his garage. Which means his riding standards are quite high. But I'm sure he wasn't disappointed with this one. It may not be the most powerful bike in the world. But according to Jagosh Kortak, riding this Yamaha now, feels like it lost about 80 kilograms. It handles extremely well. And it has enough power to raise the front wheel. We all know that beauty, is usually on the eye of the beholder. But when I see a project, that looks very beautiful from any angle. It means it is something really special. And that's exactly what I think about this outstanding machine. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.